As the countdown to the Invictus Games Vancouver 2025 begins, the event, which aims to highlight the resilience and spirit of wounded veterans, is already embroiled in controversy, this time revolving around Meghan Markle's anticipated involvement. Royal expert Neil Shah reports that while Meghan was expected to play a significant role, her participation has sparked significant debate and tension. The Invictus Games were initially met with widespread acclaim, receiving support from Prince Charles and Prince William, and Catherine, Princess of Wales played a crucial role in nurturing Prince Harry's vision, helping to transform the Games into a globally recognized event. However, recent years have seen a series of setbacks. A Netflix documentary series focusing on the Games failed to make a substantial impact, receiving lackluster ratings and no major awards. Critics argue that the series' focus on Prince Harry overshadowed the achievements of the participants, detracting from the core mission of celebrating their courage and determination. This emphasis on drama rather than the athletes themselves has contributed to a decline in the event's perceived integrity and success. Against this backdrop, Meghan Markle's upcoming appearance at the Vancouver Games is stirring both anticipation and controversy. Her presence is likely to attract significant media attention but it is also expected to be polarizing. Meghan's fashion choices at previous formal events have often faced criticism, and there is speculation that she may once again make headlines for the wrong reasons, potentially overshadowing the event's core purpose. Adding to the drama, rumors suggest that Canadian authorities have issued a stern warning to Prince Harry, advising him against bringing Meghan to the Games. According to a video from the British Royal Rise Channel, Canadian officials have expressed strong disapproval of Meghan's planned attendance, recommending that Harry either attend alone or cancel the trip altogether. This warning reflects broader dissatisfaction with Meghan's behavior and a perceived lack of appreciation for Canada's role in hosting the Games and supporting the Sussexes during their stay from 2019 to 2020. Reports indicate that Meghan has made several demands for the trip, including requests for a private jet, luxury accommodations, a security detail, limousine service, a media team, and a donation to their charitable foundation. Canadian officials are said to have rejected these demands, insisting that Harry and Meghan adhere to the same rules as other guests and dignitaries. This insistence on standard treatment and refusal to accommodate special requests has further strained relations between the Sussexes and Canadian authorities. The reaction from the Canadian public has been notably negative. Some Canadians have expressed frustration with the situation, criticizing Meghan and Harry for their perceived entitlement and lack of respect for the event and its purpose. Comments from Canadian residents reflect a broader sentiment of disapproval, with some expressing reluctance to support the Games if the Sussexes are involved. One Vancouver resident stated, No one's interested in supporting the Invictus Games if it turns into a Meghan Markle show while another from Vancouver Island said, I won't go if those two are there. I refuse to fund them. A third comment echoed a similar sentiment, I can't believe we're supporting these two grifters. As the Invictus Games Vancouver 2025 approaches, the controversy surrounding Meghan Markle's participation highlights ongoing tensions between the Sussexes and their Canadian hosts. With Canadian authorities' warnings and public backlash, it remains to be seen how Harry and Meghan will navigate this complex situation and whether their presence at the Games will ultimately be welcomed or further polarize opinions.